Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and happy new year 2024. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the SQL 50 Crack SQL interview in 50 question series, where we are trying to learn hands-on SQL using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of SQL. So we solved all the questions on select. Now we are working on basic joins. After this, we will be working on basic aggregate functions, then sorting grouping, right? Advanced select and joins. Uh, subqueries and finally on advanced string functions, regex and clauses. Okay. In the previous video, we worked on product sales analysis part one, where we use left join to solve this question. Okay. In this video, we are going to solve the next question, the eighth question of the series, customer who visited but did not make any transactions and try to learn from it. Okay. So let's jump right in. So this is the eighth question of the series customer who visited but did not make any transaction and if we look at the companies this question has been asked in is amazon apple adobe nerd wallet so a lot of great companies so kind of important question so let's look at the question we are given a table called visits with two different columns visit id and customer id visit id is the column with unique values for this table this table contains information about the customers who visited the mall okay we are given another table called transaction with a three different columns transaction id visit id and amount transaction id is the column with unique values for this table this table contains information about the transactions made during the visit id okay we are asked to write a solution to find the ids of the users who visited without making any transactions and the number of times they made these types of visits order of the result does not matter so basically you have two tables once is visit and the customer id so these are the customer who visited the mall and this another table called transactions where there are various transactions and who made that transaction and what was the amount we are asked to return all those customers who visited the mall but did not have any transactions and how many times they visited the mall and did not have any transactions right so basically from this table we are going to get the customer id and from the transactions table we are going to use this table to know whether this customer performed a transaction or not in the visit and if yes how many times the transaction was made and how many times the transaction was not made so since this information is in two different tables so that is why this question is being solved using the join now how to identify which type of join because in in the sixth video of the series when we started working on the joins part we learned there are various types of joins in sql right inner joins outer joins cross joins etc in outer joins again there are two types left join right join on the basic level right so basically what does it say so just think about it right so the question asks for every customer who visited but did not have any transaction right so if you are going to do a left join you need to keep this table on the left and this one on the right why because if you do the reverse part if you do a left join with this table on the left and this one on the right here in the transactions table you only have those people who transacted in their particular visit right so for example visit id 5 and 1 and 2 right so these are the customers so 1 is customer id 23 5 is 54 and 2 is customer id 9 so if you take the left join by keeping transactions on the left part you are going to basically ignore these kind of people right so 30 96 54 but that is what the question is asking right people who visited but did not have any transactions so you understand why on the left join we are going to keep visits table on the left part and transactions on the right part okay so we have established that we need to do a left join by keeping visits table on the left and transactions table on the right now we've learned that inners and outer joints need to be done using an on clause so we need to find a link how can we join these two tables we know the visit id column of the visits table and the visit id column of the transactions table are same and have the same type of information so we you can use that okay so let's start building this query so from the visits table alias as we short form so that we don't have to write the name of the table again again we learned this in the previous videos we need to perform a left join we establish this right on transactions let's again alias this as t we also establish we are going to use the on clause and the columns visit id from both of these tables so v dot visit id is equal to is equal to t dot visit id right 
and let me return all the columns for now right we will go step by step firstly let's try to get all the information at one place so let me run this okay wrong answer because not yet complete let me drag it above uh yeah so if i look at the output so we have visit id and customer id coming from the visits table and then transaction id visit id amount coming from let me drag it somewhere yeah and the amount coming from the transactions table right so obviously if you look at this right so 123 and 1 it was it was able to find that okay there is one in the visit id of the transactions table so it populates this similarly customer id nine so visit id2 you can find it here so obviously these rows where you have nulls in the transaction id visit id and amount are basically what we require why because these are the people so customer id 30 the person visited the mall right so because the, we have a visit id associated with this customer but there was no transactions in the transaction table and that, that is why you have nulls in these columns right so customer id 30 96 and 54 these are the people who visited the mall but did not have any transaction so we are only interested in these rows right because that is what the question question is asking customer who visited but did not make any transactions so how to keep only those rows which we are required to right so we can use the where clause so where we need to make sure then you can take any of these columns but like it's better and logically to keep the transaction id and transaction id is coming from the transactions table right transaction id is coming from the transaction table so where t dot transaction id is null right so is null is used to check okay wherever this transaction id value is null you only keep those rows let me go ahead and run this again let's see what do we have okay so now we are left with only those rows where customer visited the mall but did not have any transaction okay now the question asks for every customer we need to also get the number of times this happened you can use the group by right so what we need to do is let's group by right so group by customer id customer id is coming from the visits table right so v dot v dot customer id let me drag it somewhat down okay so v dot customer id we grouped by this now one thing to remember for group by is if you do this right select star and if you are grouping by the only columns that you can return in the output is the one that you are grouping by right so if you have let's say five different columns you are grouping by you can only return those if you try to return a column that is not in the group by function you are going to get an error so now we retain the customer id right so v dot customer id and then we also need to count right so how do we count we need to count the number of visits right you can count the number of visits to basically tell that okay these are the customers who visited the mall but did not have any transactions and these are number of times such things happened so you can go ahead and do count of right now you have two columns right visit id and visit id with the same name so that is why you know that is why having these uh you know abbreviations before the name of the column is important so that SQL does not get confused. So we are going to count visit ID column from the visits table, right? So V dot visit ID and this should be aliased as whatever is required in the output, right? So as count of number of transfer. Okay, we are not required to order this. So we don't have to write anything regarding order by. Okay, let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get here. So yeah, this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output, right? Let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases. So yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it. So easy question, but we have to firstly identify what kind of join we need to perform first thing. Then once we identify that it is a left join, which table to keep on the left, which one to write, right? Depending upon the question, then we also identify on what column to perform that join. 
and then we are only interested in where people visited but did not have any transaction so we use the filter part and then for every customer right so we learned in the in the first few videos of this series that there is a way of you know getting like for every person or every distinct people so we either you can use distinct but in this case group by is the most efficient way to do it so group by the customer id and then we counted the number of times this happened now one question that might come into your mind i just said that once you have a group by right whatever column you are grouping by you can only return that column so how we are you know returning visit id or using visit id so we are not returning the visit id we are counting the visit id right so any aggregate functions and this is the next thing that we are going to learn but any aggregate so some minimum maximum count etc right so any aggregate functions you can perform once you are you know grouping by as well so this is not a problem however if you remove the count part then it is going to be a problem and an error will occur so yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.